In this video, you'll learn how to track clicks, buttons, and forms using Google Tag Manager. We'll create triggers to send data to Google Analytics, but you can also apply the same techniques to fire other tags, like the Metapixel to send events to Facebook. Welcome to the sixth lesson in my Google Tag Manager training series. During the series, we've covered how to get started, adding tags, testing tags, and more. You can catch up on the other lessons using the links in the description below this video. Okay, to start, we're going to look at how we can track people clicking on particular elements on your website. For example, if you have an announcement bar or a special offer featured on your website, we can use Google Tag Manager to fire a tag for specific clicks. Let's start by heading to my demo site. The first thing you need to do is identify the element you want to track. At the top of my demo site, we can see there is an announcement bar. So let's look at how to track people clicking on this. So let's right click the announcement bar and let's select Inspect. We can see there is a link and the link has a class of sqs-announcement-bar-url. So we are going to use this class to configure a trigger in Google Tag Manager. Now that we've identified the element we want to track, let's head to Google Tag Manager. And let's create a new tag. Let's name the tag Google Analytics GA4 Announcement Click. For this example, I'm going to create a GA4 event tag, but you can use the same approach to send details to another advertising or analytics platform. Let's select Tag Configuration. Choose Google Analytics and select GA4 event as the tag type. Now let's select our GA4 measurement ID variable. We covered the steps to create this variable in the first lesson. So if you don't have this variable in Google Tag Manager yet, please take a moment to watch the first lesson in this series. I've included a link to the other lessons in the description below this video. Okay, now let's name the event select underscore promotion. And let's select event parameters. And let's click add parameter. Let's enter promotion underscore ID. And let's select the variable icon on the right. Now let's choose the built in variable option on the top right corner. And let's enable the click classes variable. This will mean that the value of the class people click will automatically be passed to Google Analytics. Remembering back to the demo site, this will be sqs-announcement-bar-url for the clicks on the announcement bar. Now let's add another parameter. And let's enter location underscore ID. Let's select the variable icon again and the built-in option on the top right corner. This time, let's enable the click URL variable. This will automatically pass the link that is used in the announcement banner to Google Analytics. So we'll be able to report on the number of clicks along with the URL and class of the element. Next, we need to add a trigger to the tag. So let's select triggering and let's click the plus sign to create a new trigger. Let's name the trigger Announcement Click. And let's select Trigger Configuration. Since the announcement bar is a link, we're going to choose just links. But if you wanted to track people clicking on other types of elements, then you could consider using the All Elements trigger. Now let's select Some Link Clicks. And let's ensure Click Classes is selected. Now we can select Equals and enter SQS-Announcement-Bar-URL 
to match clicks on the announcement bar link. Now let's save the trigger. And the tag. We can now preview our changes. We enter the URL of our website. And click connect. My demo site loads along with Tag Assistant. Now we can click on the announcement bar. And head to the Tag Assistant tab. We can now see our tag has fired and that we're sending an event to Google Analytics every time someone clicks our announcement bar. If you've been following along, let me know how you're going in the comments. Are you tracking an announcement bar or another element on your website? Okay, now that we've covered how to track clicks on website elements like promotions, let's look at how we can fire a tag when someone clicks a website button. Let's head back to my demo site to take a look. Here we can see a button on my demo site. When we click the button, a form opens. And let's right click on the button and choose Inspect. We can see the button and we can see it has multiple classes applied. We're going to use the sqs-editable-button class to configure our trigger. So let's head back to Google Tag Manager. And let's create a new tag. Let's name the tag Google Analytics GA4 Button Form. And let's select Tag Configuration. Let's select Google Analytics. And choose GA4 Event as the tag type. We need to select our GA4 Measurement ID. And let's name the event Select Underscore Content. And just to flag, you're free to use any of the other recommended event names, or even create your own event name. Now let's select Event Parameters. And let's click Add Parameter. Let's enter Content Underscore Type as the name. And Button as the value. Now let's add another parameter. Let's enter Item Underscore ID as the name. And let's click the Variable icon for the value. Let's select the built-in option on the top right corner. And let's enable Click Text. This will let us capture the button text and send it to Google Analytics. An alternate option is to simply manually enter the value you would like to see in your reports, like we did for the content type parameter. Now let's add a trigger to our tag. Let's create a new trigger. And let's name the trigger form button click. And let's select all elements as the trigger type. Now let's choose some clicks. And choose click classes. Then contains. And enter sqs-editable-button. We can now save our trigger. And our tag. Now let's preview our changes. And open the demo site. We can then click on the button. And head to the Tag Assistant tab. Great, we can see our tag has fired. Now we've covered tracking clicks and buttons, let's look at how we can track forms. Let's head back to my demo site one more time. Here we can see a form that captures people's email address. 
Now the way you configure a trigger for form submissions will depend on a number of factors. This will include the way your website has been developed. For example, the platform you're using. My demo website is using Squarespace. And it will come down to how the form functions on your website. There might be times when you have a standard form where you can configure your tags to fire based on the form's class. And there might be times the form uses Ajax to dynamically capture details and pass back a confirmation message. Okay, let's right click and select inspect. We can see the form and we can see it has a class of newsletter-form. Since I'm using Squarespace, I won't be able to simply use this class. However, if you're not using Squarespace, then this is a good starting point. So for my Squarespace example, let's submit the form. We can see a thank you message appears on the same page. So we haven't been redirected to a dedicated thank you page. Let's right click on the thank you message and select inspect. We can see the thank you message is contained in a div with a class of form-submission-text. So I'm going to use this to configure my trigger. But remember, you might be able to simply use the forms class. Okay, let's head to Google Tag Manager. Let's create a new tag. And let's name the tag Google Analytics GA4 Newsletter Form. Let's select Tag Configuration. Select Google Analytics. And choose GA4 Event as the tag type. Let's select our GA4 measurement ID. And let's name our event sign underscore up. Now let's select parameters. And let's add a parameter. And enter sign underscore up underscore type as the name. And here's a quick tip. Instead of selecting the variable icon like we did for clicks and buttons, let's simply type in two opening curly braces and select Choose Built-in Variable from the drop-down. This is a quicker way to add variables. Now let's enable the Form Classes variable. This will now mean that our sign-up type is set to the class of the form. Now let's add a trigger to our tag. And let's create a new trigger. Let's name the trigger Newsletter Form. And let's select Element Visibility as the trigger type. What I'm going to do is trigger my tag when the thank you message is visible after someone has successfully submitted the form. So let's select CSS Selector. And then enter .form submission text. This will mean the tag fires when the div with the class of form submission text is visible. Now let's save our trigger. And our tag. And let's preview our changes. Let's open the demo site. And let's complete the form. And let's head to the Tag Assistant tab. We can see that our tag has fired. We will now be able to report how many people submit the form in Google Analytics. So that's how you can use Google Tag Manager to fire tags for clicks, buttons and forms on your website. Remember that we use the triggers we created to fire our Google Analytics tags, but you can use the same technique for any other tags you want to fire on your website. 
In the next lesson we'll cover how to set up a cookie banner on our website and integrate it with Google Tag Manager. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you know when it's released. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.